Yes, I'm back again with a little mini pode for you. Um, also, from my comic book list this week, I decided to pick up something a little bit of extra. And that was this. It's Dark Horse Presents um, number one. It's a anthology of um, various artists and writers' work. Um, you get a variety of styles and stories and artwork and um, I just thought, you know, a little treat for myself because it's not cheap. I think the price will put a lot of people off here. Um, for you Americans out there, it's just short of $8. Um, that equates, well, it was for me anyway, this cost me £6. Um, and so what do we get for our £6 or $8? And was it really worth it? Well, to start with, there's 80 pages worth of comic book material in here. So already, you, you're kind of onto a winner. This is, you know, this is practically a trade paperback, this. It just so happens that it's just a lot of different stories. Um, of course, when you have a lot of different stories by a lot of different writers and artists, there is the likelihood, the chance that there is going to be some stuff in here that you're not going to like or it's not going to be to your particular tastes. Um, so for me, I would say two thirds of this was pretty spot on. Um, I enjoyed and was entertained by. There were some pretty good highlights for me and of those highlights one certainly, dis certainly surprised me um, and that was Neil Adam does a short in here. Um, it's called Blood. He has written and drawn it. Now for those who have regular readers you might remember way way back I um, reviewed the first issue of his Batman miniseries, I, Batman Odyssey, that was it. And I was quite scathing about it in that I just didn't feel it was, it was really up to much. Uh, very nostalgic, very um, ego driven, which is why I didn't think I'd like his little um, foray in this. But it is very, very good. It's got that kind of, it takes you by surprise in a way because it, it has this kind of gangster -y genre feel and then they just throw right towards the end spaceships and, 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 and aliens um, which kind of took me by surprise but I really really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to um, continuing um, that story, particular storyline within the anthology. Um, Concrete, which is an old favourite of Dark Horse by Paul Chadwick. Uh, a little self-contained story in there with a little twist. It's, it's kind of dark, it's kind of twisted in a way, um, but very entertaining and nicely, nicely drawn. And then the other highlight of the issue for me was um, a black and white version. And I've, I have to say most of this, apart from this story, uh, Murky World, by Richard Corbin, it's all colour, so it's not just you getting black and white work in here, which this particular storyline is, it's mostly all in colour, so again, very good for the price. Um, Murky World is a kind of apocalyptic world and centres on this, this guy making his way through some, you know, torn down world um, and he gets attacked. And as is the um, current genre going through a lot of comics at the moment, it's full of zombies, or what they call deadlings. Um, it's, it's an interesting story. It's kind of a let's meet someone along the way and then they tag along, I, I think it's going to be like. But it was quite a very entertaining read. The OKs within the anthology, well, we have a kind of, well, it isn't a kind of, it is a, a Star Wars um, spin-off story. Um, anyone who's into the Star Wars Dark Horse titles will probably know this. It's, it's called Crimson Empire. Um, I think there have been other titles and minis with that same name, which is a very interesting story. Uh, follows a mercenary um, out to um, make enough money to go and meet up with an old friend, girlfriend. Good, good story. 
Um, you have Snow Angel, which is a very simple, nice, cute story, um, simply drawn and written, and there's like a little splash of humour at the end at the end of that um, little story. And then finally, for the OKs within the un the anthology, is a story called Find a Third World which again follows a kind of an assassin killer for hire who's, who's kind of fed up with his job now and wants to get into something else so he goes to a career counsellor and he ends up as um, kind of like a delivery delivery guy and there's a lot of humour in that nicely drawn simple tale be interesting to see if that is going to be picked up and go on into anything else the rest of it was pretty forgettable. There are two kind of like one panel cartoons right at the very end which didn't really do much for me. Um, we get a, a, a sneak exclusive preview of Frank Miller's new project which is Xerxes and this seems to be basically a, a kind of 300 type telling of another kind of Greek mytho mythological hero and also a title called Marked Man. Um, very Soprano-esque we have a criminal who's living this secret life where he's you know killing, stealing, robbing, thieving but he also has a family and a wife and his wife knows nothing about it and he's trying to keep it from him. Pretty forgettable story but overall you know, six quid, I'm not going to complain about this. Very good title and I'm, I'll be looking forward to see which of the stories that are in here will get picked up for, for future use and what else it's going to give to us. There are, there are other stories and they're even more forgettable than the unforgettable ones. But, like I said, two thirds of this, very good. Go and pick it up. Treat yourselves.